Plus TV English, the solution for humanity. I am a Muslim. Quran is my guide. I hear the calling of them. With it we unite. We are special only if we follow His light. The way. Calling to paradise, yeah Allah, oh yeah Allah, we are your servants, yeah Allah, la ilaha illallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to another episode of the Servants of Allah. My name is Hisham Bella, and I'm your host. The Servants of Allah is a show which really aims to highlight and shed light upon those attributes which will make us amongst the beloved of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which will instigate the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon us and will really help for us to gain or develop our love towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We're talking about a very special attribute, a quality, which if one possesses will inshallah gain the love of Allah, the help, and a victory from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's the attribute of patience and perseverance. What a beautiful attribute it is. With us today to help us inshallah ta'ala understand this attribute even further is our Shaykh and Imam and teacher, a Shaykh Sa'id al-Qadi, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve him. Shaykh Sa'id al-Qadi is an Imam and Head of Education at al muntad al-Islami Trust in London. He has a background in Sharia, and also a background in education as well. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Shaykh. Wa alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Shaykh. Barakallahu alaikum. Jazakallahu khairan, Shaykh, for your time. Barakallahu fiq. As you know, Shaykh, today is the second episode discussing this quality of patience and perseverance. It's such a wide uh, topic. It's such a, a garden full of fruits that we can pick out from, inshallah ta'ala. So, inshallah ta'ala, with you, Allah Ta'ala, we will be going through the garden of patience and perseverance today, inshallah, and picking out some more fruits which will help us to, inshallah Ta'ala, gain more understanding of this topic. Uh, just to recap for our viewers, inshallah Ta'ala, on the previous episode, we gave a definition to patience in Islam. We also talked about the evidences from the Quran to show that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala loves those who are patient. How we can gain the love of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala through patience. We talked about the different categories of sabr, also the virtues of sabr, and about the relationship between sabr and entering Jannah. We also talked about if there is a link between being patient and having overall success in this world. We asked the Sheikh on previous occasion about leadership and patience. And inshallah ta'ala, we'll be going through that even deeper today inshallah, so that we will get a better understanding of the relationship or the link between leadership and patience. Sheikh, I've heard that leadership in Islam, Khilafa, demands patience and perseverance. Can you shed some more light on that if that's okay? Jazakallah khair, Sheikh. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Allahumma salli ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. All praise due to Allah alone. He praise Him, thank Him, seek His guidance and His forgiveness. I repent to Him. We seek refuge in Allah from the evil of our souls and our sinful deeds. Whoever Allah guides, none can mislead. And whoever Allah misleads, none can guide. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran when He spoke about patience, He didn't ask us to be patient only that he said or he recommended that we seek refuge in patience. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran said, وَاسْتَعِينُوا بِالصَّبْرِ وَالصَّلَاةِ وَاسْتَعِينُوا بِالصَّبْرِ وَالصَّلَاةِ and seek refuge in sabr which is patience and the prayer, the salah. وَإِنَّهَا لَكَبِيرَةٌ إِلَّا عَلَى الْخَاشِعِينَ 
and indeed it is a difficult matter except for those who are humble and those who are believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so to encounter and to defeat any difficulty or any calamity or to stay strong in front of any problem we need sabr we need patience we seek refuge in patience we should make patience a habit in our life and if patience is a habit in our life if we accompany patience with piety these two things two qualities will enable us to gain success in this life and in the hereafter and also will enable us to have power khilafa and positions on earth Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spoke about the people of Bani Israel what did he say he said that Allah ta'ala gave them the power Allah ta'ala made them superior on earth because of their patience and their certainty وَجَعَلْنَا مِنْهُمْ أَئِمَّةً يَهْدُونَ بِأَمْرِنَا And we made from the children of Israel uh, leaders, leaders who rule under our commands. لَمَّا صَبَرُوا وَكَانُوا بِآيَاتِنَا يُوقِنُونَ And they were given this virtue after they were patient and they were certain in Allah's revelation, certain in Allah's promises. So by patience and certainty, you gain the leadership in the deen, the khilafah in the deen, and every leader must be patient, must be patient. Uh, Sheikh, and how about being patient with your enemies who are plotting against you? Is it helpful to be patient even with your enemies? One of the strongest, one of the strongest methods to defeat your enemies is to be patient. To defeat your enemies is to be patient. Allah Ta'ala in the Quran, we spoke about uh, the plot of the enemies. He said, if you practice patience, the plot of your enemies and the scheme of your enemies will not harm you. وَإِن تَصْبِرُوا وَتَتَّقُوا وَإِن تَصْبِرُوا وَتَتَّقُوا لَا يَضُرُّكُمْ كَيْدُهُمْ شَيْئًا If you practice patience, if you practice patience, and if you fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you practice patience and piety, their plot will not harm you at all. وَإِن تَصْبِرُوا وَتَتَّقُوا لَا يَضُرُّكُمْ كَيْدُهُمْ شَيْئًا إِنَّ اللَّهَ بِمَا يَعْمَلُونَ مُحِيطٌ Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is fully aware of what they do. So, of course, patience is one of the strongest methods to challenge your enemies and to defeat your enemies. And that's what they say, إِنَّمَا الْحَرْبُ صَبْرُ سَاعَةٌ the war and being a winner in the war is a matter of sabr, a matter of being patient. You are, you are suffering and your enemy is suffering as well. But who of you will be more patient? So it's a matter of practicing patience and being a constant in your patience. Zakallahu khair. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us victory over our enemies and patience as well. Yeah. Sheikh, we spoke on a previous occasion about being patient at the time of calamity. Mm -hmm. What is the reward if someone is patient mm -hmm. at the time of a death of someone who is close to them? Zakallah khair. Because we always encounter this, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Subhanallah ta'ala, we find it difficult to practice patience. If someone close to us dies, but let me mention to you a hadith. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I spoke about the person who remains patient and one of his close relatives died. 
he وسلم, said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the almighty said in the Qudsi and sound hadith of Sahih Bukhari that مَا لِعَبْدِي الْمُؤْمِنْ عِنْدِي جَزَاءً إذا قبضت صفيه من أهل الدنيا ثم احتسبه إلى الجنة I have no reward for my believing slave if he remains patient after I take away his closest relatives on earth when I take him away if he stay and remains patient I have no reward for him but Jannah Subhanallah so any one of, uh, of your relatives died and you stay patient and you accept the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you say inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raja we shall all inna lillahi we all belong to Allah we are all from Allah's kingship we all belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we shall all return to him wa inna ilayhi raja and you stay patient you remain patient Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you no reward less than Jannah. Subhanallah. So it is a chance for you if you are afflicted with any calamity or any loss of a close relatives to stay patient. Inshallah ta'ala. Viewers, please stay tuned. We'll hear more about patience at the time of someone close to you passing away. So inshallah ta'ala, I'll see you straight after this break. Barakallahu feekum. Assalamu alaikum. La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah Love for the sake of Allah. for the sake of Allah. Give for the sake of Allah. We hold for the sake of Allah. That's how we save our Iman. Learn the art to purify your soul to keep yourself apart from the hellfire in How to Save Our Iman. Every Thursday at 4 p.m. and repeat telecast at 2.30 a.m. UK on Peace TV. The value of money in the hereafter will be measured by its proper use in the present. <laughs> According to the glorious Quran, one of the best ways to use your money is to spend it in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by spreading his message of Islam. Peace TV is a non-profit Islamic satellite television channel that is primarily dedicated for just that cause the proper presentation of Islam. It's a great choice to invest in it and a golden opportunity to purify your wealth in a way that pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Support Peace TV. Send your zakat and donations to IRFI Al Ryan Bank, 47 Calthorpe Road, Birmingham, UK, B151TH. Pound account number 011 IBAN GB49ARAY 3000830113230. Sort code 300083. Swift BIC code ARAY G B22. Please confirm your contribution at support at peacetv.tv. Support Peace Team, the solution for humanity. What, 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 what would you recommend? Peace TV presents. What, what do you have to say about learning the wise way? What would you recommend us to take as career? After we pass our school, so what exactly we should do? What do you have to say about pursuing two fields together? Ideas brilliant. Strategy sustained. The best profession is a profession of a person who invites people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
avail the opportunity with Dr. Zakir. Depending upon what is the interest, but the main aim should be to spread the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To implement the convincing Islamic come educational formula to excel in your career, watch Career Guidance every Friday at 6.30 p.m. and repeat telecast at 9.30 a.m. UK on Peace TV. Tawheed is Noah's Ark. Whoever embarks will be delivered, and whoever refuses will be among the losers. Tawheed is the key of paradise, and the only way to salvation. To attain eternal bliss, to attain never-ending life, get in on the ark, hold on tight, and never let go. Watch as Sheikh Salim Al Amri explains the basics of Islamic belief and worship in Back to Basics next on Peace TV. <laughs> Brothers and sisters around the world, welcome back to the servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Today we're discussing the virtue of patience or the attribute that one will have uh, if they are patient inshallah ta'ala. Before the break we were discussing patience at the time of someone close to you passing away. The Shaykh discussed some rewards but there are further rewards inshallah to hear from the Shaykh. Tell us please Shaykh. Jazakallah khair Shaykh. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. Uh, let's speak generally the virtues of, of sabr. Okay? I spoke about the virtues of being patient if someone close to you died and you remained patient. Allah Ta'ala will give you no reward less than Jannah. You will have Jannah. But generally, the rewards and the virtues of patience is so huge. First of all, Allah Ta'ala will give you your reward without measuring. Imagine Allah Ta'ala will give you a reward without measuring. What a huge reward. Those who are patient will be given their reward without measuring. Secondly, if you are patient, you will gain the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you are patient, you will gain the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which everyone is looking for. If you are patient, you will gain the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which everyone is seeking. Allah ta'ala spoke about the, the patient people. What did he say? He said, وَبَشِّرِ الصَّابِرِينَ And give the glad tidings to the patient ones. الَّذِينَ إِذَا أَصَابَتْهُمْ مُصِيبًا Who are they, O oh Allah Ta'ala? They are the ones, whenever they are afflicted with any uh, calamity, they will say, الَّذِينَ إِذَا أَصَابَتْهُمْ مُصِيبًا قَالُوا قَالُوا إِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ They will say, we all belong to Allah. And we shall all return back to Him. So, O oh Allah Ta'ala, what is the reward? Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala, the next verse said, أُولَٰئِكَ عَلَيْهِمْ أُولَٰئِكَ عَلَيْهِمْ صَلَوَاتٌ مِّن رَبِّهِمْ وَرَحْمَةٌ They will have a blessing from Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala. They will have a mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْمُهْتَدُونَ And indeed they are the guided ones. They are the ones whom Allah ta'ala has guided. So through patience you can acquire all of these virtues. A reward without measuring, mercy from Allah ta'ala, mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, um, blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and guidance from Allah, the Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us all of these things. Allahumma ameen. And Allahumma ameen. enable us to become patient. Allahumma ameen. Shaykh, as you know, patience can be very difficult mm -hmm. at the beginning of a calamity. When should someone be patient? Is someone not allowed to be patient at the beginning? Or if someone excused, if they're not patient at the beginning of calamity? Or is that the time for us that we should be patient or afterwards? When 
do we have to be patient? Zakallah khair. It's a really important question, Hisham. Zakallah khair. Patience is at the time of the first strike, the first instance of the calamity, the first instance of the grief, the first strike of the grief. As soon as you hear the calamity, you stay patient. And this is patience. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the sound hadith passed by a woman who was crying over her son who was dead. And then he وسلم, said to her, Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and stay patient. Ittaqillah wa spiri. He said to him, You haven't encountered, you haven't encountered anything like me, so stay away from me. You've never seen something like this. You never encountered something like this, so stay away from me. And then she was later told that he is the Nabi. She didn't know him. And then she went to his house. She was apologizing, saying, Oh Rasulullah, I didn't know that you are the messenger of Allah. I thought that you're somebody else. I'm patient. He said to her, No, patience is at the first strike of the grief. Or patience is uh, at the first instance of the grief. We should practice sabr as soon as we are encountered with a calamity. Afterwards, everyone can be patient. You can't do anything. After a few days from the calamity, everyone can be patient. If you lose your relatives, uh, one of your relatives, after a month, you'll be okay with it. But at the first try, you need to be patient. And this patience, which you practice at the first instance, will enable you to gain that huge reward, which is a reward without measuring. Mercy from Allah Ta'ala, blessing from Allah Ta'ala, and you'll gain as well the guidance from Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala. Indeed, you should seek refuge in patience whenever you encounter a calamity in your life. SubhanAllah. Mm. Shaykh, how about illness? Mm. If someone falls ill, do they have any reward for being patient at the time of illness? Obviously, yes. And Nabi Sallam, when he spoke about patience and the reward of patience, he said that people will be given reward for any form of patience. And he gave an example. He Sallam said that مَا مِنْ مُسْلِمْ تُصِيبُهُ مصيبة. There's no believer who is afflicted with any calamity, regardless of his size. Be it the uh, pricking of the thorn or something more than this, even a pricking of the thorn, which is very small, unless Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He will reward him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward him for his patience. Even the pricking of the thorn. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward him and will cause his sins to be erased and Allah Ta'ala will cause his sins to fall away from him like the tree when it sheds its leaves subhanallah so you will have all of his sins dropping out from you erased and wiped out if you are patient at the time of illness okay so that shows that we should Practice patience even every matter in our life, especially at the time of illness. Pana, so in other words, sickness is uh, a cleansing for our sins, subhanAllah. Exactly. exactly. It is. So therefore it's uh, almost a bounty. It's a bounty. Um, yeah. Sometimes. It's a bounty. It is a, a process within which we will purify ourselves from sins. SubhanAllah. Yeah. And we shouldn't say why we are foreign in uh, illness and foreign in this it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who chose to let us go through this tribulation to purify us. To go through this tribulation to purify us. So we should accept Allah's decree and be patient. And in the sound hadith, إذا أحب الله عبدا If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves someone, Ta'ala will let him go under tribulation. Subhanallah. Shaykh, other people may ask, they may say, uh, what's the wisdom behind Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala placing tribulations upon us? Jazakallah, Jazakallah. Let me summarize the answer in two, in two reasons. In two reasons. 
The first reason is for us uh, to whenever we are encountered with difficulties to be distinguished between the believer and the wicked ones. Okay? To to have a dis to know who is the believer and who is the the wicked ones. So it is for us to know this. Okay? At the time of tribulation you will know the reality of people. Allah Ta'ala knows everyone, knows the whatever we hide inside our chest. But for us as as people, at the time of tribulation we will know who is the truthful and who is the hypocrite. Okay? And also another reason behind tribulation, it is for us to return back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Tribulation is a reminder to us that we should turn back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah ta'ala in the Quran made it very clear when he said, وَبَلَوْنَاهُمْ بِالْحَسَنَاتِ وَالسَّيِّئَاتِ And we put them under the trial of the evil calamities uh, and the hard calamities and the good days. Okay, it's, it's, it is a trial from Allah Ta'ala. Why? لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْجِعُونَ So that they may return back to us. The purpose behind the trials is that we return back to Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala. فَلَوْلَا إِذْ جَاءَهُمْ بَأْسُنَا تَضَرَّعُوا If when they are encountered with our calamity, Having, if, if they were to return back to us, it was better for them. So the purpose behind calamities and the difficulties that we go through and the tribulations that we go through is that for us to return back to Allah Ta'ala and to remember the purpose of our existence. SubhanAllah, Jazakallah mm. khairan for that, Shaykh. It's such a vast topic Allah that uh, we haven't even gone into how to attain patience Allah and Allah. perseverance. Our time is short. Inshallah ta'ala, maybe we'll do that on another occasion. Jazakallah khairan, Shaykh. Mm -hmm. Viewers around the world, brothers and sisters, Jazakumullah khairan for tuning in and listening. Uh, inshallah ta'ala, we hope to see you on another episode of the Servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Finally, from me, Hisham Bella, your host, Jazakumullah khairan. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am a Muslim. Quran is my God. I hear the calling of them, with it we unite. We are special only, if we follow his light. The way of Muhammad, calling to paradise. Ya Allah, Ya Allah. We are your servants, Ya Allah. La ilaha illallah, Muhammadun Rasulullah. The value of money in the hereafter will be measured by its proper use in the present. According to the glorious Quran, one of the best ways to use your money is to spend it in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by spreading his message of Islam. Peace TV is a non-profit Islamic satellite television channel that is primarily dedicated for just that cause, the proper presentation of Islam. It's a great choice to invest in it and a golden opportunity to purify your wealth in a way that pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Support Peace TV. Send your zakat and donations to IRFI Al Ryan Bank, 47 Calthorpe Road, Birmingham, UK. B151TH. Pound account number 0113230. IBAN GB49ARAY 3000830113230. Sort code 300083. Swift BIC code 